Hey everyone, this week I wanted to talk about Cross Volume 1 by Garth Ennis and Jason Burroughs, uh, which I read a couple of weeks ago and I probably needed a little bit of time to digest what I had just read because it's intense. Um, there are 10 issues in this volume, so it's big anyways, and I sort of had to take my time reading this because the content therein is very graphic. To describe Crossed in a surmised version, I'm just going to read the back of this very quickly for you. So, in the blink of an eye, humanity is lost. The Crossed are upon us. Men, women and children alike fall victim to the mystery infection that makes killers out of parents and rapists out of lovers. Ruthless, berserk and evil beyond measure, these cackling demons spread their plague across the earth until our species teeters on the brink of final extinction. So... That's pretty well exactly what this is. It's a post-apocalyptic story where you've got, um, I guess, groups of survivors or actually probably not survivors. They're not yet crossed. Um, so groups of people that are trying to uh, break free of these people and just start a new life. Uh, kind of like The Walking Dead except crossed instead of zombies. Um, and the people that are crossed are absolutely deranged, sick, sadistic, just like they have absolutely no shred of morality or, or anything like that. There's no filter. Uh, and that can be really confronting as a reader because the stuff that we read is um, not censored and there's a lot of rape and sexual assault and even just language um, that will offend people I'm sure in this. I'm a pretty liberal relaxed person and so that kind of thing usually doesn't bother me but there were some pages in here that not only made me blush but kind of just disgusted me if I'm honest. Um, but that being said it kind of all was relevant to the storyline and to you know what these people are so it kind of just made you fear them even more anytime they appeared in the book you were really worried about the safety of the group and um so it kind of worked uh in that respect that being said i wouldn't recommend this certainly for younger readers i certainly wouldn't read uh, recommend this for anyone who is sensitive um to uh, graphic imagery and um, that kind of thing so just just kind of i guess you know be warned about that but that being said for the remainder of this book I actually did really enjoy it um I liked the writing of uh the personalities within the group um you sort of I kind of draw that parallel to The Walking Dead a bit um in the fact that you do sort of form these relationships or at least get to know these characters on a more personal level and then you know, seemingly throughout the story, people end up dying or becoming crossed or that type of thing, or they'll have more people join the group. So um, you start to see the group dynamics changing as well. Um, and yeah, for the most part, I actually really enjoyed that aspect of it. There's some really confronting scenes in this. So not only do the crossed uh, people, <laughs> I don't know if they're people anymore, um, the people that have crossed have their um, confronting moments and there's all kinds of things happening there but even just within the group uh, there are some confronting moments where um, you know they have to make the choice as to whether they um, shoot some children and things like that so uh, there's a lot of sort of moral conflictions happening within this book and I like that the book isn't afraid to explore those options or it doesn't feel constrained or censored it kind of just is like you've taken a filter off you know the mind of a writer and just let them go with anything no matter how sick or depraved or twisted it is and in the first volume that works really well um i, I have read the second volume and i actually um have some really uh, uh i guess like they kind of follow on the same premise but a different writer did volume two and you can tell that they've tried to emulate the writing that Garth Ennis did in the first volume um, so they've kind of done that and then tried to take it to the next level and it's epically failed and it just ended up being a really offensive read um, so it goes to show that there's a fine line between 
you know, making something kind of sick and twisted, but still, you know, still enjoyable because you understand the bigger picture and just being like completely sick. I actually think I'm going to do a review on volume two as well, because even though I didn't enjoy it, I think there's some things to discuss uh, in that book. And I don't often review things that I don't like. So I think just for a change, it might be nice to sort of have some different views on a book in a series that so far I have enjoyed. Straight away, I know Crossed is not going to be the kind of book for everybody. And, um, you know, I've got friends who have both loved it and hated it, and that's okay. Um, personally, I liked it. Um, I, I don't think it was going to be anytime soon a favorite of mine, um, but certainly I enjoyed it and uh, enjoyed it enough to review and discuss. And I think there's a lot of um, really like interesting aspects to this book that make it discussion worthy um, so there's that element of it as well but uh, on the whole I liked it uh, I think that I if you're curious you should pick up volume one and have a read it is shocking um, I kind of like in volume one to Saw and volume two to Hostel so if you're a horror fan you'll kind of understand you know Saw was kind of gory and and horrible but it added to the storyline and whereas Hostel just kind of took it to the next level and was disgusting. Um, that's kind of like my analogy for the two of them. But uh, let me know in the comments below if you have read this and I guess what you thought of it, if you agree or disagree with me. Um, if you haven't read it but you're planning on it, let me know. Um, if you liked this video, as always, I ask that you give it a thumbs up if that's okay. And if you're not yet subscribed to my videos, then you should. And I try and release two videos a week where I can. <laughs> Thanks so much for taking the time to watch. Uh, I will talk to you all very soon. See you later.